Hello YouTube. Look what I'm having for lunch. I'm having chicken noodle soup. I couldn't decide for like a half hour what I wanted. Chicken noodle soup or oatmeal? Chicken noodle soup or oatmeal? String of meetings in the morning, put up some fires at work, standard fare. Should be a quieter afternoon, be able to put my head down and do some work on my computer. Last night before I went to bed, so this is like 11 p.m. maybe. It was past 11, I did another grocery order for some of the items I couldn't get on Amazon. Fresh vegetables, bananas, corn chips, eggs. And that's gonna come between 9 to 11 p.m. tonight. So we'll see how that goes. You guys gotta be able to hear the upstairs until my refrigerator kicked in. It's so loud upstairs. Literally, as I hit record on my phone, they fucking stop upstairs. I swear, it was so loud for like five minutes. All right, YouTube, it's a special treat today, a special unexpected treat. I need to go to the drugstore. There's a Walgreens that's a block-ish down the road. I'm too lazy to put on sunscreen, so I'm just gonna have a hoodie on. I need to wear a mask, so this is the same bandana I used last weekend for the jog, but I've washed it since, obviously. I also need to take out some recycling. Okay, let's go! I am back in the house, and I didn't want to vlog a lot of it because I was like touching various things and I didn't want to touch my phone. But it was a little bit of an event to even go to the store now. I've not been to a physical store since six weeks ago. I went to the drugstore a couple of days or a few days into lockdown. That was six weeks ago. And a lot of the social distancing procedures that stores have now, which they didn't have back then. So for example, there were two people waiting outside the Walgreens because they were only letting certain number of people into the store at a time, which I wasn't aware of. So I went beeline for the door and then had like the security guard person tell me you have to get in line. It didn't occur to me like the two people outside were in line because they were like six feet apart. To be honest in San Francisco, when I see like a random person loitering on the sidewalk, it's just like whatever, it's quite typical in San Francisco. So it didn't even look like a lineup at all to me. There's only two people in the lineup. Right when I joined the lineup, one of them had gone in, but even then it took five minutes for me to get in there. But when I got in there, it was like not at all busy. So I guess they were only letting like five people into the Walgreens at a time. I got what I needed and then I just went right back home. Walking just down that one or two blocks, however long it was, most people are wearing a mask, not everyone. And it seemed like the people that weren't wearing masks didn't really care that they weren't wearing one. It's slightly annoying to see that most people are making an effort, but for some people, they just look like they can't even be bothered. I'm gonna eat some chips and salsa as a reward for leaving the house. That experience kind of makes me not want to leave the building for the rest of lockdown unless like I really, really have to. I definitely don't want to like go to a store. I'm gonna try my hardest to buy everything online like I've been doing so far. It's just that this one thing, I need it like right away. I'm gonna kick off the evening with a question for you guys, specifically dog owners out there. 
I love dogs. I would love to have a dog. When I was really, really young, my dad would sometimes sneak a puppy home when my mom was out of town on the weekends. And then when she came back for the week would be upset. Then they would try to keep the puppy for like a week or two. But then every time my mom would basically take the puppy back because she just didn't want to deal with it. And my brother and sister weren't going to do anything. I would love to have a dog. I've never gotten a dog even though I could technically go get one because I tend to travel a lot but I'm very independent. I'm used to being able to leave town whenever I want, hop on a plane whenever I want, go out at night whenever I want and having a dog, you can't really do that all the time. However, I am thinking about it again. I know there are people out there that are very busy that seem to have very happy lives with dogs. So if you are a dog owner and you work like the regular nine to five, like what do you do? Do you have a dog walker that comes to your house every day when you're at work to like walk your dog and help play with it? Or like what happens when you have to travel or you have to just be somewhere where you can't be with the dog at the time. So I'm interested. So comment down below if you are a dog owner and have some tips. All right, let's move it on to the news. Don't eat or inject yourself with disinfectant warns FDA commissioner. Oh my god, I can't believe some people are stupid enough to like drink bleach. That's the most interesting headline in the last two hours. Is that a good sign? Progress, I guess. Move it along to song of the day. We're gonna go back slightly into the archives again. One of my favorite songs. One of my favorite slow songs. This is back in the mid 2000s. It's called Circle by Mark Houston, who was an R&B artist back in the 2000s. All right, you two, guess what time it is. Let's look at some photos. January 3rd, 2016, we are in Bangkok. There's some embarrassing photos here, but I think I can show you some of these. These are probably embarrassing enough. Let's just stop here, actually. This was our second last day in Bangkok. We went there for White Party Bangkok over New Year's. David, I think he was hung over. And we were actually lounging by the pool at this hotel. So you can't see the pool, but this is poolside. I think we're giving David a hard time because tired or hung over. And then I think we kept making fun of him. Oh, it's a group photo. So this is the big group of us that all went together. Some of these people I had never met until this trip. And the only reason I was hanging out with them was because I went on my first gay cruise, which was October 2015. And then I randomly ran into a bunch of Aussies. I found out that they were going to Bangkok for this thing for New Year's and I was like, why not? I'll come join you guys. So I randomly bought tickets and then I flew over. So that was a really, really fun time. A lot of randomness that happened on that trip that I can't actually tell those stories on camera. I'll show you guys this one photo from the party. So this is white party night. Jack, he is a second one from the right. Uh, he designed our outfit. So we had matching harness and then we had white swim trunks on and we also had the fans actually they were giving up the fans at the entrance i remember but they also had headpiece as well it was really really fun that harness i have worn many many times to the point where um, the stitching was starting to come apart so i had to retire it but i actually really like that harness all right, YouTube, it is approaching 9 o'clock. I need to get up for a 9 a.m. meeting. 8.30? 9. 9 o'clock, which is not that early, but working from home and not having to like get ready to leave the house and also not having to do the commute and not having to fully get dressed from head to toe. I've gone very used to that now. So I usually wake up at 8 o'clock now, whereas before I would leave the house 
around eight o'clock or just after. And I'm definitely sleeping later as well. It's almost Friday. The days are going by super, super fast. It felt like just a couple of days ago that it was Sunday and we were dreading going back into the work week. What craziness are we gonna get into this weekend? Maybe a lot of craziness or maybe none at all. I am going to keep on looking at apartment listings. I know we're not at a lockdown yet, but I just wanna do some research and it just something to kind of look forward to once this lockdown is over. So until tomorrow, bye YouTube.